<laughs> okay, that animation is not doing this character any justice. <laughs> oh, forget Alistair. Who is this? Hello. This is already fucking hilarious. I'm gonna love the show already, I can tell. Hey, what's up, peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today, I have for you, Hell of a Boss, the pilot episode. Now, I am very, very excited to watch Hell of a Boss because I loved Has Been Hotel. Absolutely loved it. I loved every minute of it. And, you know, Has Been Hotel is like a 10 out of 10 for me. It's like amazing. It's pretty much perfection. So... I'm honestly very, very excited to watch Hell of a Boss because a lot of people actually prefer this over Hell of a Boss, including some of my friends. So I am very, very excited to watch this. Honestly, I kind of just don't want to waste any time. I kind of just want to get right into it. So let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you see or you just find yourself coming back in the regular, then please do like and subscribe. It really help out a lot. And remember, guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server and more, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But anyways, let's go ahead and watch Hell of a Boss, the pilot episode. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow. Uh, hello, Brandon. <laughs> yes, I have heard that Brandon is in this show, and uh, he, I believe he's also uh, one of the reporters in Has Been Hotel uh, as well. So it's really cool to see him in this. I've heard so many things about his performance. I heard that he's amazing in this, and I, I'm not too familiar with his channel or his content, but... I have seen a few videos and he's fucking hilarious. So I am honestly really excited to see what his character is about here. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone. <laughs> what about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars Millie. being clean here, okay? okay. Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. There he is. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, yes, I have heard that, um, I think his name is Richard Horvitz, who is the voice of Invader Zim. Um, I have not seen Invader Zim. One of my friends have, and it's like his favorite show. And yeah, he, he has said a lot of praise about this voice actor in particular. I'm very, very, like, stoked to see him. You know, I haven't, I'm not too familiar with anything that he's been in. Same with Brandon, but... I do like the clips that I have seen of Invader Zim. He's very talented. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service <laughs> we provide? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you guys kill people. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. <laughs> Is that a shout out to Hasbin? <laughs> Basically, we're doing a musical. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a call out to Hasbin. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Promoting your other show with this one. <laughs> I love it. Because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, <laughs> crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I. What? <laughs> I thought I knew you. Oh, cute. Okay, so what these two, I think these, oh shit, I just hit my mic. I'm so sorry, Mike. Are these two like a, the romance with the show? I'm honestly down to see a romance between these two. Like for a husband, it was Vaggy and Charlie and they're really cute. And then I'm pretty sure Angel Dust and Husk are going to be a thing probably by season two or season three, however many seasons they're going to make. So it was really cool, cute to see those interactions, I'm hoping that these two will be cute as well, you know? Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of <laughs> Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent and I'm the Blitz. founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell? Or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> who got fucked over? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell? Or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over? <laughs> well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special oh. access to the living world. Oh. When you want somebody gone and you don't. Ah, oh, the intro. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. We'll kill your husband or your wife. We'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. 
Oh, you just killed a child. <laughs> oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything. Damn it! I'm not losing another one. <laughs> Holy shit! It actually worked. Okay, not real doctors, I presume. Why does why does this fucking guy look like the? I I'm thinking of some character of a kid show. I don't know. Is it um? Is it a character from Billy and Mandy? I think. Is that who I'm thinking about? Now what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Kids Damn. die for free. What the fuck? I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Luna. Okay, I have heard of Luna. Oh yeah. Hold on. I forgot. Um, the fuck is her name? Erica Lindbeck? Something like that. Linebeck? Lindbeck? I don't. I don't know. But uh, I know that she is the voice of, I believe, Emma Blight in uh, Owl House. So that's really cool. And yes, I have heard of Luna for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I've heard of people talk about this character, not in a family friendly way. So that's why I know this character. Yeah. Do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Oh, she does not like you. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you Looney. a little something. Oh, wait. Adoption anniversary? Wait, so she's your daughter? Happy adoption anniversary. Aw. <laughs> Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! Okay. Ah! I'm sorry, the spiders. God damn it. Um, e excuse me. Did Charlie? What? Why is Charlie on the monitor? So clearly, yes, this takes place in hell. So obviously it takes place in the same universe as has been hotel. But why is Charlie on the monitor? Wait, is this when, um, is this from the pilot when, cause it looks like her pilot design. So I'm guessing that it's from when she was on camera for the news station. I think this is where she actually sang, right? Is that, uh, am I right about that? Yeah, it does look like that. Okay. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it. Okay. That animation is not doing this character any justice. <laughs> Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Hey, very hot headed. <laughs> okay, one thing about her, very hot headed, very, she has a bad temper. <laughs> oh God, it was one time. If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. What? You what? <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. <laughs> Dude, he's amazing in this already. Oh shit. Wait, so hold on. You did what now? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. Oh, okay. So there's a little thing right there that we're gonna explore, probably. <laughs> There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Oh, forget Alistair. Who is this? Hello? Oh, no, it's happening again! Hi. <laughs> Fuck. Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. <laughs> Oh, wait, do, do we learn his name yet? Do you for this time, Stolas? Oh, that's Stolas. I didn't even register his name until now. I've heard a lot of things about Stolas. A lot of people, this is their fan favorite character, including one of my, uh, one of my fans have told me this as well in my Discord server, that their favorite character is Stolas. Like, everybody loves Stolas. I've, I've also watched a lot of reactors who have mentioned this character like not so average fan girl morgan terry um and a few others that have referenced this character so i'm very excited to see what this character is about for more than one reason now 
<laughs> it's happening again. What the fuck? <laughs> First it was Alistair, and now we have this guy, Stolas. Political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. The accent. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, <laughs> I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your sad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. <laughs> Okay, he's got some kinks. He's very much like Angel Dust, I can see. Very sexual. Eat this. And then you know that bridge over Eat the freeway? This. Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point <laughs> is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. Oh, the little smile, the little soft smile when he said that. Oh, that was cute. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of- Aww. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. <laughs> that is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Wait, so they're already together? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? <laughs> Smile, fucking. What the fuck? What you dreaming about? <laughs> I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back to that. <laughs> Holy shit, no. This fucking guy, I keep clicking by accident. Holy shit. <laughs> this is already fucking hilarious. I'm gonna love the show already, I can tell. Stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. Are you a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mox. You're going to have another panic attack. I am calm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss. No, no, no. It's fine, Mills. Your husband is just... How do I... Oh, husband. Oh, they're full on married. Oh, all right. <laughs> Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. This immature... What the fuck? When did this come out? Four years ago. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am. You guys are all fucking assholes. The, the kid? Why is the kid here? Why? Wait, wait, hold on. They brought this kid to hell. Oh, this poor kid. <laughs> Poor fucking kid is just in hell looking at hellhounds and shit. Okay, so, so far we have the owl creature, hellhounds, imps. Uh, we have sinners and then Lucifer. I think Lucifer is sinner pride, right? I don't think we've ever met any of the other sins yet. So, no, Ozzy. I've heard of the name Ozzy. I think Ozzy is greed. I believe so. And then B. I've also heard that name. Yeah, I think that's the only things that I know. Imps, hellhounds, sinners, the sins, overlords as well. Sorry. Overlords. Yeah, so there's a lot of species. Or I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess that's one word to say it. You are a selfish, greedy clown, and I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Hey now, that's not very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to. <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut. I didn't know you needed wow. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to blur that. 
things anyone else can. And, like killing and that. We promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cared. <laughs> Please contact us and go! You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no what that was so short oh the other episodes are a little longer i'm looking at the playlist here yeah the other episodes are longer okay so i was gonna say i was gonna go ahead and watch episode one but i kind of don't have a whole lot of time today shit okay i'm gonna have to watch this tomorrow all right so episode one i'll watch tomorrow but for right now that was the pilot episode and i enjoyed that a lot all right guys that was hell of a boss season one the pilot episode I enjoyed that a lot. That was fucking hilarious. Viv, you are incredible with this shit. <laughs> Hasman Hotel was amazing, and I can already see that this is going to be a banger ass show. So, Viv, you're doing amazing. <laughs> so, we met a bunch of characters. We have uh, Blitz, Stolas, Luna, Moxie, and I don't remember the other girl's name. <laughs> I'll remember later on, but yeah, these characters are all very unique to one another and I actually really like that. It's a lot like has been where all the characters were pretty unique from each other and I was kind of hoping this would be the same thing. You know, there are too many shows where all the characters feel a little too samey, you know, but with this show you can really tell them apart and I really love that. So Blitz, very unhinged, very unhinged person. He's the boss of this business and then we have luna who is a bit of a hothead she has a very big temper and that's really all we know about her right now then moxie's kind of like um you could tell that he really is like a nice person so i'm, I'm not sure how this job is gonna work out for him stolas is we can forget about alistair i want to learn more about stolas <laughs> We only got a little snippet of his character. I'm hoping that we do get more of him. And then the other girl, she's really sweet. Um, which, again, I don't know how this job is going to work out for her. I don't know her name, but yeah. And then most of it was just kind of unhinged humor, I guess, which is kind of understandable. You know, it being just the pilot episode, there's no really there's no real plot within this it's just kind of like to introduce this show which i can perfectly i'm perfectly okay with that and i i think it worked out well you know the this pilot episode worked out really well it gave me a sense of what this show is going to be about you know just kind of like it's funny and it's also really fucked up <laughs> so i love it already and i'm excited to see more like I said, I'm probably going to have to watch episode one tomorrow because I don't really have a whole lot of time today. But for this episode, I think everything's kind of wrapped up. So let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you see or you just find yourself coming back in the regular, then please do like and subscribe. It would really help out a lot. And remember, guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server and more then go down to the Patreon link down below. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.